John Judith, thank you very much for visiting UNC in Chapel Hill today. You are one of America's leading political journalists. and You have just published a new book on the United States and the creation of Israel after the Second World War. Let me ask you, why did the Truman administration come out so strongly in support of Israel a few years after the Second World War? Well, it, it didn't actually come out that strongly. Uh, Truman himself was had to be dragged and kicking to the to the altar. Uh, he was very worried that uh, a, a, a Jewish state or an Arab state would sow disunion and dissension for uh, decades to come, and he was worried that it also wouldn't be fair to either side to have either a Jewish or an Arab state. So, so he was reluctant, but he finally did so, and uh, he had little choice at the time because Israel was going to be a, a state. Thank you. Was there realistically ever any real chance for Truman and subsequent American administrations to bring about real lasting peace between Israel and the Palestinians? There were, there have been wi windows of opportunity, very slight. Uh, during the Carter administration, Camp David, um, there was a chance to bring the Palestinian issue in, but but we accepted uh, what was really um, the, the, uh, the shadow of an agreement, the idea of autonomy rather than statehood. Uh, Clinton, late 90s, 2000, there was a possibility. So there have been moments when it's possible, um, but they haven't worked out. Do you think there was a, one particular big opportunity which was missed? No. Even when Arafat became involved? Well, look, the, the, uh, the, it might have been possible during the 1990s, uh, and I think people put, put a lot of emphasis on the assassination of Rabin. Rabin was a great leader, and he might have uh, moved the two sides towards a solution. But you have to remember that during that period, the settlements were growing apace. It wasn't a, a time when uh, settlements were frozen at all. Uh, I saw a figure 240,000, uh, 240% uh, in the last 20 years. So, uh, again, as long as you had occupation, as long as you had settlements, as long as they were increasing, it's hard to imagine a, uh, a deal. Thank you. Do you have any proposals for the current American administrations what to do? in the Middle East. How can a lasting solution between Israel and the Palestinians be found? Because it can't go on for that forever. There must be a solution. I don't think that the um, current administration is going to do anything more. I think that their main priority is to try to reach a deal with the Iranians. And I think if they do so, uh, it will be beneficial in the region and might put them in a position uh, eventually um, not them, but a future administration uh, to put the kind of pressure on the Israelis would be necessary for a resolution of, of the conflict. And would you say that the United States still has a lot of leeway with Israel and the Palestinians? Uh, is the United States still, still a genuine mediator? Well, we are. We can play the role of a mediator because we're the main outside power. Uh, the only other one is the EU. And we give a lot of military aid to the Israelis, and we're the main bastion of support for Israel in the world. So we have clout, we have importance, but uh, it's a question of whether we're willing to use it. Thank you very much indeed. That was very enlightening and informative. Thank you.